you know, we're going to go ahead and get started, um, you know, because it is Friday. Jennifer got to go to work. Um, you know, Judy has a grind. I got a grind. And I'm sure Tanisha got some things to do up in Elizabeth City. And I look forward to the single saving serious movement coming to Elizabeth City real soon. So Tanisha, make that happen. Okay. Well, Tanisha right. did have a prayer request this morning. She prayed for growth in her business this year. And um, so I do have that as a prayer request if you want to get started. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you as we come before mm-hmm. you this morning. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Tanisha, that her business is able to grow. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for you know how hard she is trying. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you know how much she wants to grow within you and within her business. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let that be. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so people that are interested in the business can see you and they draw interest into the business, seeing you through Tanisha. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we know the world needs to see more people like Tanisha and her drive, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, her desire and trying to get to know you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you give her the direction, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that she needs, Heavenly Father, in order to get to the next level, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know we are impatient as humans, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And we know we can't go about your time, Heavenly Father, not all the time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But I just pray that you show up and show out within her life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, at your time. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but please give her answers as you go about her time, Heavenly Father, your time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you lift her up, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and her spirit, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Though she said she doesn't need prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But only you know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what she needs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you lift her up, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that she calls upon the prayer line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and guide her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the direction of her business, Heavenly Father, or her business is Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you know, when I came to her last year, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and I say I'm about to blow you up and blow your mind, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That was you, and I didn't even know it, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, until now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what you were trying to tell her through me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you continue, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to lead her in that direction, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Let her know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that she's past potential, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that when people see her, they see you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. They see glow, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She, as she shines, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that that gift, that you gave her even the gifts that she don't even know about just yet, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray that you continue to do the things that you are doing within her life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless my sister, my family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Not only through single, saved, and serious, but throughout life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. My accountability partner, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As she just comes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and tries to seek you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and go within what you want her to do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we are dealing with this cold world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Judy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you know the gifts that Judy has, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We just want to thank you for those gifts, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that don't nobody, don't everybody have, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we mm-hmm. know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the gifts that she has, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you bless her, 
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Give her strength. Give her the direction, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Help her with her eyes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. With her ears, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Help her with her talk, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you heal her body, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So she could walk in motion, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for the confidence, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For she wants to be behind the scenes, but you don't want her to be behind the scenes. And you're telling her that through me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray for that glow, that presence that she has, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In order to help people with disabilities, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In order to help single saved and serious Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. And through her personal life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Have her glow, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For the world needs her presence, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we're dealing with so much, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So many people are discouraged now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. When you told us years ago, Heavenly Father, that this would happen, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but nobody was paying attention or they didn't believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Now we see it right in front of our eyes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you forgive us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we forgive ourselves, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for not paying attention to what you were telling us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who don't believe, Heavenly Father, or want to believe, but just don't have it right now to believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Don't have people around them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in order to guide them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for these weak soldiers that are here in this world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that don't have the heart, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to speak, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for the churches, Heavenly Father, the pastors, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that are not working the streets but working the churches, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that everybody goes to church, Heavenly Father, but the church needs to go to the streets, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For some people who never got to know you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because their parents didn't leave them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Their grandparents, their aunts and uncles, their siblings didn't leave them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus left them alone in the darkness, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So they're hurting, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. They have nobody to go to, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But these clubs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, where they're hearing people bouncing and shaking their rump, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but don't have a word of encouragement, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray for those, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you continue to use single saves and serious as well as us as individuals, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to come out here and work the streets, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and let them know there is a God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as they see it through us on the outside and inside, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we all have sinned. Heavenly Father, and we all sin, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But you being a forgiving God, I pray that you forgive us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we set examples, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for everything that you're doing within my life. And I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that people see you through me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. They start to search, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for that gift that you've given me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that it's able to work the streets as well as social media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everything that you've done, Heavenly Father, with the CIAA, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that so many people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, see what we're doing. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, instead of going to the Epic Center, they have somewhere to go now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to where they can hear and feel you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you gave me that idea, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to go into bar and grills, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Go where nobody else is going, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for that direction, Heavenly Father, that I took within the world. You say you're going to do it on my terms, 
you want to be blessed, Heavenly Father. You're going to do this on my terms, church. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to lead me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For I understand everybody's not going to understand, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, till they get there, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But you gave me a walk, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, of my own, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And everybody don't have the gifts, don't have the courage, don't have the nerve, the knowledge in order to do the things that I'm doing through you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to thank you, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for my team as well as my personal life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, but you be just sticking by me when nobody else was around, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. When I was hurt, lost, bitter, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I was just no direction, Heavenly Father. I had a direction, but it was a direction to get back and not give back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, and I just want to thank you for Judy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for single saves and serious, and personally, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that gift that she has given, and she sees through me, Heavenly Father, that I didn't even see through myself, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For when the enemy attacks, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, she steps foot, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and say, step back, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to thank you for the protection. Thank you for Tanisha, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for she's dying to get on this prayer line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And she's following up what we do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And that ain't everybody, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For well, that's you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. When you see something, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that everybody is not seeing, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So as we go about, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, this Friday, I pray for an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that somebody gets blessed off of that post that I just posted, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus saying that God's about to blow somebody's mind, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For if they believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, they will share, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you continue to use me within social media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you know I don't watch TV. I don't listen to the radio. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the only thing that they see, Heavenly Father, is social media, Heavenly Father. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to bless me through social media, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that the Christian Lounge experience CIAA weekend with the Monies and Doghouse, Heavenly Father, once again, I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you blow the roof off, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For our first CIAA experience, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Chuck. This morning I have a scripture for everyone, and it reminds me that even in the midst of what we're going through, if we have a distress, if we have an issue, a problem, a situation, we have a God. We have a God that we serve. And it's from Psalm 59. If you read the whole psalm, it talks about the enemies that we have and those who practice wrongdoing. And this was written by David at a time when he was being pursued before he could get into his kingdom. And the verse that came up for me this morning was verse 16. It says, but as for me, I will sing of your mighty strength and power. Yes, I will sing joyfully of your loving kindness in the morning, for you have been my stronghold and a refuge in the day of distress. I don't know about anybody else, but I've had my days of distress. I've had days where I didn't know how the food was going to get on the table, how the bills were going to get paid, how I was going to get to the job or get home from the job. Didn't know if the job was going to last But in the midst of my distress, we have a God. I knew that he was my strong tower, my my stronghold, a mighty tower that we could run in. And so this morning, I want to encourage someone, don't forget that you have God. 
that his loving kindness and his mercies are new every morning. And as we are here for this Friday morning, about to, I'm about to pray. I just want you to hold on to his unchanging hand and realize that he has you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this morning. You know I start every day with a thanksgiving because I know it is not promised to me. I wake up because you have woke me up. I wake up because you decided to continue the spirit in my body the breath in my lungs. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the ability to get out of bed, to move. As Chuck prayed for me, as I need to move and be able to do better, Lord, in my physical body, I let him know that you have done these things. You have done them before, and you will continue to do them until you call me home. So I praise you for the ability to get up. I praise you for the ability to see what I can see. I praise you for the ability to hear what I can hear. I praise you for what you have put into my life. I don't worry about what you have not put in because I'm blessed and highly favored for what you have put into my life. Dear Heavenly Father, we have those on this call this morning who have gotten out of their beds and in the midst of their routine have decided that they would call into this line. So I thank you for them, Father. I thank you for their their minds, their spirit, and their body, Lord. I have Tanisha on the line who called and asked for prayer, Heavenly Father, for her business. I've known Tanisha for a couple of months now, and dear God, I know that she has a heart to do what she's trying to do. And I ask that you take away the enemies that would distract her from what she has to do, the enemies that would try to take from her and not so into her business. I rebuke those enemies, Lord, in Jesus' name, and I ask that you open the correct doors, that she will be able to have abundance. She will be able to do her events and be able to give more and to go into the community the way she wants to, Heavenly Father. So I ask that you bless whatever her hands shall touch. I ask you to bless whatever her speech shall come out, and whoever the hearer is, make them be better for it, Heavenly Father. Expand her business, Lord, wherever her foot shall trod, whatever thought you should put into her mind, let it come to fruition. Let it be able to be manifested so that we be able to see it and praise your name for what she is able to do. She is coming to you as a servant, Heavenly Father, asking, Lord, please, if you bless me, I'm only going to bless somebody else. So, dear Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I ask that you rain down on her blessings, mercy, prosperity, everything she needs to be able to reach her goal. Dear Heavenly Father, I cover her from the top of her head to the sole of her foot, Lord, so that nothing, no weapon forms against her shall prosper. No enemy shall come up. If she, wherever she goes, they will fall back because you have covered her in your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, for those who are silent on the line, I pray that whatever their hearts need, whatever their minds need, whatever their bodies need, whatever their households need, I ask that you grant it to them, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. I ask that you come into their home and walk in their home. Let the Holy Spirit reign so that there is peace, so that there is harmony, so that there is no lack, Heavenly Father. As you have blessed me where there is no lack in my home, I ask that you bless others so that there is no lack. I speak prosperity. I speak fullness. I speak overflow into the lives of these people this morning in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, and while we start this weekend, we ask that you take us. It's Super Bowl weekend, Heavenly Father, and you know the people will be out there not doing what they ought to do. So I ask that everybody be safe. Cover them, Lord, on these roads, on these, in these establishments, Heavenly Father. Keep them safe from anybody trying to cause harm, trying to be drunk when they shouldn't be. Heavenly Father, watch over everyone so wherever we go, we are safe and we can bring your word to them. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for so many people in my life. I thank you for Jennifer in my life, a 20-year-old friendship, Heavenly Father, that we have weathered the storms of life. We have been able to go through the highs and the lows and still call each other friends. Dear Heavenly Father, that's a blessing, and I thank you for it because so many people are laid by the wayside. So many people get tired. So many people get aggravated and don't keep on trying, but Heavenly Father, Father, I thank you for the bond that you have formed between she and I, that we have been friends through marriages, through children, through husbands, through 
family passing. Lord, you have been there, and you have been the center of our friendship. And I thank you for Chuck on this line, dear Lord. Met him a year and a half ago, and look where our lives are today. And I give all honor and praise to you for it, Lord, because without you, where would we be, Heavenly Father? You have taken us from one little restaurant to now where we may be able to travel. You've taken us to where we had no foundation to now we have a spiritual mother and father who have sown into our dream. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for everything you're doing with single faith and serious. I thank you for the lives that it's allowing me to touch. I thank you for the places it's allowing me to go and bring your word and bring your name and praise you in front of so many people. I ask that you bless our events that are coming up. We've sown a lot into them, Heavenly Father. We've sown our our hearts, our our time, our money, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you cover these events and whatever you need to get out of these events, Heavenly Father. Not just what we need, but whatever you need, whatever souls you need to protect, whatever souls you need to save, whatever souls you need to reach, I ask that you give us the ability to do these things in the matchless name of Jesus. And, Lord, continue to bless us as we go throughout the year, Lord. You have laid out event after event, project after project, things we didn't think of three, six months ago we are now thinking of. And I know that has nothing to do but you. It is nothing but you, Heavenly Father. Ideas we never would have thought we would cross. We are now crossing. I know Chuck has had ideas for years that have laid dormant and that you are now resurrecting in the master's name of Jesus to be able to be come to fruition. So I thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing in our lives. I thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing with all the other entrepreneurial people that I know. Dear Heavenly Father, you have brought such loved ones into my life, people who are trying to make a difference in their community, people who are trying to make a difference in other people's lives, save lives, restore lives, Lord. And I thank you for those friends, Lord, and I ask that you bless them exponentially in their endeavors, in their projects and in their goals, that they may be able to reach them and also be able to benefit and prosper through them. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to just say I praise you and I thank you again. I thank you because you are that mighty tower that we can run into and be safe. You are that shield and buckler. You are that stronghold that no one can breach. No one can get through unless you allow them to. So we know we are protected and safe. We know that we, have, we abide in your spirit, Lord, and you will bring us into all truth as we need to know it. Dear Lord, I ask again, watch over every one of their day. As they go about their day safely, Lord, cover them. We ask all these things in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen. I don't know if there's anyone else on the line. Anyone else would like? Did you want to close, Chuck?